Hey guys, it's Rob with Propellerhead. Thanks for stopping in for this update. This is an informal information download, so I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Uh, I have some exciting information that I want to share, and, 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 I, and I think you guys are really going to like it. So uh, you, you may know that Propellerhead is a show that myself and Mark have done um, to talk about the parasciences and Sasquatch and aliens and, you know, all kinds of, of different fringe topics that uh, uh, sometimes don't, don't get much coverage in uh, mainstream news and, and that science often shuns. And we wanted to be able to talk about those in a real matter of fact way. So we created a channel for that, but part of it was so that we could talk about what was popular and what was going on on uh, the online communities. So uh, step back for just a second. Whenever I created this channel to start with, I created it because I wanted to share a UFO analysis that I did. So uh, Brian Hanley has a channel and uh, on YouTube and shared uh, the Utah UFO, the, the Beaver Utah UFO. And I was so compelled by that, I saw it on Reddit and I said, gosh, I, I see something I don't think other people see. I wanted to share that information. So I created my analysis video of what I was seeing and I posted it to the communities on Reddit. And uh, I was very disappointed at the response, not because people liked or disliked my video, but because the way the moderation works on Reddit, uh, the video discussion wasn't being allowed to happen. And now that is something that I had a lot of problems with. I still love Reddit, plan to use it, but I thought, gosh, I really want the ability to talk about things like this in a, in a serious manner and, uh, and flush out some of those things that we speculate on at times that need room for discussion and not just be shut down because somebody thinks it, it's not a fit. So uh, I immediately thought there must be a way I can do this, uh, have a little background in technology. So I started creating a platform and I created a community for you guys called Inverter. It's uh, the word inverter with no vowels, nvrtr.com. And uh, yeah, it's really hard to get a domain name these days, especially a .com. So I wanted something short and easy and fun, and I think that's one. So where I'm at right now is this is a complex platform, enabling a discussion in this way and being able to share multiple types of media in the way that online communities do is quite complex and it requires a lot of resources. I've been able to pull something together that I think accomplishes that, and I want your help testing it out. So right now I'm in beta mode. And what that means is that I've got a working platform. It's ready to use and I want you to see it. You can go to the site right now and check it out. But it also means that there's possibly some things that need a little work or don't work the way that you feel like they should. And I want you to help me with those and, and tell me about those. Also, if you have any particular expertise and you want to come on board the team right now, it's just me. Uh, I would love to hear from you and find out what it is you'd like to offer. Um, it's really exciting to be at this phase of development of a new platform like this. And uh, it, it has lots of places that it can go. So I'm going to break for a second, show you some of the uh, so show you some of the features and then I'll come back and I'll tell you more about what we plan to do. So take a look at Inverter and uh, I'll be right back. Welcome to Inverter and our endless scrolling global feed. This aggregates content from all sources on the site. The content feed has a filter toolbar for filtering by date range, content type, and source. Hashtags can be used on Inverter to discover new content and help others find your posts. You can perform advanced searches right from the menu bar. This helps you find pages, other users, groups, and of course posts. Inverter tracks post rankings with likes, dislikes, and comment activity. This also goes towards user's clout, which is a measure we track for user influence. Inverter has a powerful commenting system, including the ability to record audio. Here I'm going to record an audio comment to add to this post. There's a whole fleet of them, look on the ASA. My gosh. Now let's play that back. Oh, 
This is a great way to add audio evidence and colorful comments. Just remember it won't be searchable. Inverter also allows you to attach images to your comments. I'm gonna attach an image of an x-ray to this comment, and then we'll take a look at it to see how it looks in the light box. That's great. Inverter has a fully customizable notification system. This way, you won't miss interactions with other users. I really feel like the members of my Black Eyed Kids group would love this post from Nancy, so I'm going to use the advanced post sharing to share it there. Now I'm going to use the jump to group feature to quickly visit that group. Yep, that looks great. When it's time to turn down the lights, you can switch into night mode. Also, while I'm at it, I'm going to visit my profile and change one of my notification settings. Your profile is completely customizable. You can change the design as well as your security and notification settings. All accounts on Inverter have the ability to create groups, and this is really what makes Inverter great. I've got an idea for a new group about metamaterials, so I'm going to start one here. That's all it takes to start a group, but I'd like to give this one some more identity. So I'll add some markup in the about box, and then I'll add a couple of images for the avatar and the cover. There we go, that looks great. Now I'll post a YouTube video and use the Smart Publisher box to get some of the data. The Smart Publisher box looks for links in your posts and helps you embed the media. There we go, that looks good. I wonder if anyone's posted about werewolves on the site yet. I'll try the hashtag first. Hey, look at that. Inverter is an international website. But don't worry if you can't read a post, just click translate. There we go, that looks great. I think more people should see this one, so definitely gonna give it a bump. On Inverter, you can also allow people to contact you by a private message. Users will get a notification about your message and if they're online, can start a real-time chat. Inverter allows you to create many different types of posts, including the ability to upload audio files. I'll use the post filter to find the latest uploads. You can edit your post at any time, no matter where you are on the site. Just click the context menu and then click edit post and make the changes as needed. We want Inverter to be a harassment-free experience for everyone. That's why we've adapted our code of conduct from the Contributor Covenant. Map posts are another unique post type and great for location-based discussion. Just choose your address from Google's auto search and your map will automatically be embedded. Another unique post type are polls. This is a great way to get user consensus and test the overall opinions of a community. Here, I'm gonna create a poll in the Dogman group. This should be interesting. There we go. Oh yeah, and uh, don't forget to vote. One of the great things about Inverter is that almost everything can be done for free. However, there are some benefits to going pro. Create custom brand or product pages to keep followers up to date. Run promotions, host events, and even upload large video files. Upgrading is easy, secure, and powered by Stripe, the premier online payment processor. Inverter Pro is a great way to gain interest in your event. Let's create a book signing for Nancy and invite followers to attend. We'll add basic information about the event, as well as location and times. Then add a cover. It's that easy.
Okay, that looks great, and we've added our first post. Now let's get some attendees. You can send direct invites to your followers. Let's invite Joe. Joe will be notified about your event, where he can then visit your event page and mark that he's attending. Now your event updates will show up in Joe's feed and your event will be saved to Joe's event list. All of this enables you to track attendance, work out details, and have a discussion before your event ever happens. Inverter is built to be mobile ready. That means all of the features that you use on your PC or laptop are also available to you on your mobile. Let's find the Bob Lazar group and check the status of our post there. I'll add a quick comment to find out if anyone has seen a reply. Well, that's all for now. Find out more on inverter.com. Thanks for watching. Okay, so now that you've seen Inverter and you've seen some of the features, hopefully that's something you wanna check out and I'm looking forward to seeing you on there. So remember, you can create your own groups. You have a profile and that profile helps to know who you are and it helps add validity to the conversation. I think that's very important. We have a pledge on Inverter, which talks about the type of discourse we're gonna have, what's allowed and what isn't. And that eliminates the need to moderate the, the groups and the pages the way that uh, are typically done on other sites. We'll still have moderation, but it's really gonna be, hey, is this discussion fit with the pledge that we've asked for or not? So you can say what you want, get your conversation across, and uh, it's not a stuffy place to be. At least that's what I think. So you tell me what you think. All right, I'm gonna let you go. I look forward to seeing you on Inverter. Stay with us on Propellerhead. We've got more shows. We're gonna cover on Propellerhead what's hot on Inverter, what you guys are talking about. We're gonna expand on it on the show. And uh, I look forward to seeing you more. Thank you so much.